What's going on guys, this is Dean aka Kiwi and today I am doing a Skyrim video. Yeah! We're going to do a uh, alternate life mod. Um, I'll put the, uh, the credits and the link to the mod in the description. So I'm not going to act like I am really big into mods or anything. I honestly don't play Skyrim that much either in general. Uh, but I did get this comment from one of our viewers uh, wanting me to get back to the Skyrim videos and here at Get Real Gaming we're all about the viewers so that's exactly what we're going to do today. Basically what this mod is is that it is a different start to the game so it starts you off in a different place and the, uh, the whole beginning process is different. Alright so as you can see this is the opening screen here it brings you right to character selection. I'm not going to spend too much time here uh, with the appearance. Oh, this video is more so about the mod, so let's go ahead and finish there. And so this is where we're going to start off um, in this uh, little prison cell. It says, use the Mara statue to choose a new life for yourself. Okay, activate statue of Mara. So here it gives you a ton of options. Uh, I think this is really cool. You can basically kind of choose where, uh, like where your origin is, like what, what kind of life that you had prior to this. And there's a ton of options. So I arrived on a board, I arrived on board a ship. I own property in one of the holds. I'm a new member of a guild. I'm camping in the woods. I was shipwrecked off the coast. I'm a vampire in a secluded lair. I'm a necromancer in a secret location. I'm a warlock thrall. I mean, there's a ton of these. I was attacked and left for dead. I'm a refugee from Morrowind. I am a refugee from Morrowind. There's two of those. I guess one of them starts you off at Raven Rock, one of them at Windhelm. So, there's a bunch of these. Um, I think the one of them that sounded kind of cool, I was attacked and left for the dead. Uh, what would be the most fun? I'm a vampire in a secluded lair. Huh. Let's go with I was attacked and left for dead. And then it says use the empty bed to begin your new life. Okay. Empty bed. Alright. So we're... Looks like we're knocked out or we're sleeping and waking up here. Whoa. Wow. Let me know how you guys think the game looks right now. I have a mod, like I said, I have a climate mod on, so there's more, I guess, it just makes the vibrance of like the climates come through a little bit more. And I have a texture mod on too. I, I feel like it looks good. I mean, it's a little like hard to see here. This is one of the other mods I have on. It's, it's a world map mod. Most of you have probably seen this before. I, I do like this mod too just makes the world map look more realistic and I chose the option that we were attacked and left for dead so what do I have on me I have boots and clothes and I have five apples so starting from the bottom here in the middle of nowhere this area looks really cool though so this is interesting um, Again, we chose the option I was attacked and left for dead, so you literally just wake up with uh, nothing to your name, nothing in, in your inventory, and I guess you just kind of start your new life from there, so pretty interesting. Um, we're going to go back and uh, try some of the other ones. So what else sounds cool here? Huh. I'm a vampire in a secluded lair. Whoa, that was kind of cool. So we are in, uh, oh, whoa. Oh, ho, brother, ho, whoa, 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 now. Nah. You got too much dip on your chip. A broken fang cave. And there's a vampire. And so I'm guessing that I am a vampire? Yeah. Wait, am I a vampire or is that just how I look because I'm a dark elf? So that's pretty cool. You can start out as, I guess, a vampire, and you're in you're in a vampire lair. 
guys skyrim just looks so good on pc like i said i switched to pc like a few months ago now uh and i will never go back uh it's a great investment this game looks really really good master vampire okay so yeah and a lot of these are, are self-explanatory i mean um really what it does is starts you out in a different zone and just gives you kind of a fresh uh, starting experience if you're sick of going through the same intro again and again. We'll go ahead and uh, try out one or two more of these. Uh, this might be a bit of a quicker video, uh, but I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, I will probably be making more videos highlighting some different types of mods. Like I've been saying, I'm, I'm completely a beginner to like Skyrim mods and everything like that. Um, so I, I really don't know kind of what are the good ones that I should check out. If you have a suggestion, please drop it in the comments and I might make a video uh, using that one. Uh, so yeah, just let me know. I'm really, I'm down to do more of these. I want to try, I want to escape this cell because I'm guessing that it'll just let you out of the cell. Yeah, use the lockpicks to escape your, your cell. So this is a little different. I'm out of lockpicks, so... Oh, here, here we go, cool. So that one obviously just lets you out of the, uh, of the cell. You can, it's a coin purse, a couple of weapons here, begin your new life. So yeah, again, self-explanatory. Uh, is this an enemy right here? It's a ghost. How do I grab that, uh, dagger? Oh, shh. Oh, no, I'm getting jumped. What, what is going on? I didn't know this was going to happen. I was not ready for this. Put me back in the cell. Oh my god. So a lot of variety here. That's one of the best things about this mod. There's so many different options that it really keeps it fresh in terms of just starting the game off a little differently. Um, Necromancer in a secret location. How about that one? Camping in the woods actually sounds kind of interesting too. Let's try this one. So you're in a little, I don't even know what this is, a little room here. This table just looks kind of cool. Uh, Black Reach, that's where we are at. And so am I like a necromancer? Oh, whoa, whoa. What, what is this? Where, where am I? This place looks sick. Oh my god. He just he just put a spear through me? Is that what just happened? Did you just spear me? Alright, let's try one more of these. Um, I'm an outlaw in the wilds. I'm a soldier in the army. Ooh. Let's try soldier in the army. Let's check that one out. Oh, what side am I on? Imperial or Stormcloak or Surprise Me? Surprise Me. Oh wow, that's that's really cool actually. So we start off in the uh, in the war room, looking down at the uh, the board here. That's actually really cool. And and I guess oh, I thought I was gonna have like armor and everything. That's really cool. It starts you off kind of like in the middle of this uh, scene where where they're kind of discussing battle plans and everything. I actually really like that. That's that's really cool. It's a pretty interesting way to start the game off. Alright guys, that's going to do it. Uh, this is a really cool mod. I really enjoyed it. A lot of different options. I would definitely recommend that you guys check this one out. Like I said, if you have any mods that you really want me to try out, uh, definitely let me know in the comments and I will probably make a video on it. Uh, but anyways guys, like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps out our channel so much. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. I took an arrow in the knee.